Hello everyone, welcome back to Carl Fix. Today I'm going to show you how to share a workbook so multiple users can edit it all at once. Change, delete, save, move data around, whatever needs to be done all at the same time with no pop-up saying you can't get in the workbook as it is edited for uh, locks for editing by another user. So it's quick and simple to do this. You need to press file go down to the bottom to options and then the quickest way to do it is to press the quick access toolbar and where it says here choose commands from change popular commands to all commands it will load all the different commands and you want to scroll all the way down to s and find shared uh, shared when I can find it myself here we go shared workbook legacy what you want to do then is highlight it click add and click ok and what that will do is put it in your quick icons up at the top here so you can now click the shared workbook legacy icon at the top it'll tell you who's got it open but you can then click the tick box here and click ok it will now ask you to save it and you can see that it is now a shared workbook. So as long as this is saved in your network drive or a OneDrive that multiple users have access to, you can all now get in the workbook and set it up and change it. If you want to unshare it, you just untick it. There's some further advanced um, options here. You can select how long you want to keep history for. If you want it to automatically save changes or be manually saved by everyone and obviously if there's any conflicting information in cells because uh, they've been changed by multiple users it will ask you uh, what conflict that you want to overwrite so yeah that is a quick way to do that and just as a little bit of an extra to this uh, video if you want it to always be in a main bar at the top you can do file options you can customize a ribbon and then you can choose any of your tabs you want so I should be able to put it into my home tab here if I want to I believe so again you choose all commands drop down to shared Uh, shared workbook legacy again and click add so you can only add it to a custom group so to create a custom group you can create a new group in here look so it's now in the home group you can rename it uh, to shared let's say and then you can add your custom legacy to that click OK and then I believe it should come up at the top here look shared workbook legacy so you've now got it on your top menu bar and as a quick bar just a little added tip there if you want it always on show so it's a lot easier for people to find but yep that's how you share a workbook for multiple users in Excel and I'll see you on the next video please hit like favorite and subscribe to help me out and thanks again. Bye.